Hey, what's up, everybody? So welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to install or set up macOS Catalina on your MacBook using a flash drive. So first of all, what you need to have is a flash drive. So this flash drive is the 16 gigabytes. So make sure that you need more than 10 gigabytes because uh, the application itself is about six or eight gigabytes already. So you need a flash drive, which is more than that. Okay, so without further delay, let's get started. So first you have to plug in your flash drive. This is my flash drive. So I name it Parabut, which is my name and check the information you can see available is 15 gigabytes. Next step, what you need to do is to go to App Store, search for Catalina. Go to Mac OS Catalina, click get. Then it asks you to download, so Click on download, so the software is being downloaded. So when your download is completed, let's go to Launchpad to check whether you can see the macOS Catalina. As can be seen, the macOS Catalina is here. What you need to do next is to go to this website. I also list this website in the video description, so you can check this one below. This is very important. As you can see, there are different commands that you need to copy and paste onto the terminal. So as an example, in this video, we are setting up the Catalina OS. So make sure that you copy the right command. Launch terminal and paste this on the terminal. Do not press enter. Pay attention to my volume. The volume here refers to the name of the flash drive. And the problem in here is because my flash drive and my uh, internal hard disk have the same name. So I have to rename the second one. Okay, so now on the terminal, delete my value and make sure that the name is exactly the same as the flash drive. And press enter. For password, so the password here is invisible, so just keep typing. As you can see, now I'm typing the password, but can you see my password? The answer is no, because the password is invisible. Again, keep typing and press enter. Okay, so to continue, type Y and press return. Okay, now you can see erasing this 0%, 10%, 20% and up to 100%. And now you can see copying to disk. So at this stage, the OS Catalina is, is being transferred from a Mac to the flash drive. Okay, and now the process is completed. As you can see, install media now available at. Okay, now let's check if the file is in the flash drive. To finder and you can see here my flash drive now is already renamed to install Mac OS Catalina and you can see the Mac OS is there okay now we are ready to go so it's time to set up okay guys so first of all what you need to do is to make sure that your Mac is connected with the power then it's time to plug in the USB drive what you need to do next is to restart your Mac. So click on restart and restart. And then press and hold option. When the screen goes blank, hold down the option. So the Mac is trying to boot the USB drive. You can see here now. Then you have to select install macOS Catalina and then press install and then uh, it comes to this this uh, stage what you need to do is to go to this utility let's continue okay so press on make sure that you press on the correct volume by looking at 
the section here you can see internal external and this image so choose the internal select on the drive so as can be seen here my volume is my name para wood click on erase whatever the name you want to put so i leave the same name here and choose the first option and i click erase okay you can check here operation successful Let's see operation successful done and then let's just go back so just to for your information you have to go through this utility because you need to erase everything before you can set up meaning that if you done or you forget to erase it for example if you have got some problems the problem still exist in your Mac. The next step is to go to install Mac OS. Click on continue. Continue. Agree. Agree. And now you can see I've got only one drive left, which is Parawoods 250 gigabytes. Click on install. And you have to wait for a while, probably it takes about 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes to complete this process okay now it's time to start up your Mac so choose the country select the Wi-Fi but you can choose other network options if you're using uh, the internet through uh, hotspot from your phone using the USB or whatever so you can choose another network or if you have uh, Wi-Fi connections you can also choose the Wi-Fi as, as I'm doing right now and click continue and then data and privacy continue don't transfer any information now or you can transfer from your backup it's up to you you can choose the first option for this step i would like to skip i can fill in later if i want to determine condition you can read if you want to and then agree yeah create a computer account write down your name and set a password for this account express setup yeah press continue next okay this one click next screen time for siri is up to you you can enable it or you can disable it for me i prefer to disable this one and then click on continue so the touch id so if you're using the macbook pro the touch by the touch id you will be asked to go through this process and continue choose your look so there are three choices light dark or automatic so it's your preference which one you like so let me go with light okay now I've got a completely new Mac OS setup as you can see now everything is gone except the built-in applications on this Mac OS. Okay guys, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment down below. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider doing so because I can't wait to see you guys in the next videos. Thanks.